Vlogmas. It's Friday. And it's hella early. I didn't go to bed very early last night. Um, I fell asleep like sometime after after one before two. Uh, like after one thirty before two. Oh my god. So not as much sleep as I would have liked. Um, but it's Friday. I'll survive. I will have more coffee. I need to go to the gym today. Um, work should be a good day. Uh, yesterday was a really good day. This week of work has been really productive. Um, and my coworker and I, we actually hit our commit for the week yesterday, which is a big deal. Um, usually we are still working on Friday to get our commit in. So it's really nice to feel like, oh, we've done our job for the week and uh, we can focus on next week's commit. Good. So I just got finished the gym. I uh, got home, uh, went to pick up my mail, and I received a, a letter from the Ministry of Health, and I learned that I actually have to apply for my uh, assisted medical device program once a year. Um, if you do not know about the assisted medical device program and you live in Ontario, if you are a type 1 diabetic, you are covered for an insulin pump um, up to $2,400 um, per year. Um, you do uh, need to provide proof that you're checking your blood sugar um, at least four times a day. And um, your physician does need to fill out a form. Um, and it does take a little while for the form to go through. Uh, but obviously, um, that is a great tool for anybody who doesn't have, is uninsured, or their insurance doesn't cover any part of an insulin pump. I am lucky um, in the fact that my insurance company does cover my insulin pump. They cover a majority of my type 1 diabetic related expenses, which is fantastic. Um, so uh, I would definitely look into seeing if you're not on an insulin pump uh, and maybe you thought, you know, it's cost prohibitive because they aren't. They aren't inexpensive devices. Um, my Omnipod costs, basically, the pods cost $300 per month. Uh, so, pretty significant cost. Um, however, my A1C improved as soon as I started the Omnipod. My overall management of my diabetes feels so much better. It drastically improved the quality of my life. Uh, so I am a huge proponent of uh, insulin pumps. Not uh, Obviously, I have the Omnipod, and uh, maybe down the road I'll do a review on it. Um, I have talked about it a little bit already, but I love, love my Omnipod. I love that it's tubeless, um, and it's working very well for me. And uh, as I mentioned, I also started the Freestyle Libre. And I change my Libre site tomorrow, which will have me on the Libre officially for a full 30 days. And I think it's another fantastic device. Um, so again, uh, my insurance company is uh, covering uh, the Libre. I did have to uh, send in for the device. So the, the actual Libre reader cost $50, which... I mean, that's really not expensive. Um, and then Manulife kicks in um, the $80 every two weeks uh, that's required for those uh, little Libre patches that I wear on the back of my arm. Um, not pricking my finger eight times, anywhere from like four to eight times a day is what I would be checking my blood sugar before. That's uh, helped me and able to start doing um, a little more cardio 
because I had fears um, of going low at the gym and uh, now I don't have that strong of a fear because I have more information, more readily available, more easily available. I don't have to be on a machine and prick my finger to check to see where my blood sugar is at. Um, so that that's also uh, really improved uh, my life. So if you are looking for ways to improve uh, your diabetes management, again, uh, I'm on the Omnipod, I love it, um, but I definitely recommend anybody looking into the insulin pump. Um, that My preference is the Omnipod. And even for type 2 diabetics, I highly, highly recommend the Freestyle Libre because you're also measuring your blood sugar um, several times a day, so it takes away the finger prick, but the f benefit I see in the Freestyle Libre for uh, type 2 diabetics is being able to see how foods affect uh, their blood sugar levels, and then they can go and make adjustments to their diet, um, and then also they can make adjustments to things that they're doing in terms of exercise. So I'm a big proponent of the Freestyle Libre. I do have a letter from my doctor approving me for the Dexcom. Um, I haven't sent it into Manulife. Uh, she did, at my last uh, checkup, she actually uh, did for the Freestyle Libre, um, sent in that paperwork, and then she also provided me with uh, the Dexcom because that was something that I was looking at as well. Uh, the Dexcom is a continuous glucose monitor where the Freestyle Libre is a flash monitor, so there are differences in the devices and how they work. The thing with a Dexcom is it is a lot of money out of pocket. They do have a program uh, where you can pay X amount of dollars per month, but I really didn't want to get um, committed to using something or signing up a contract for something that I wasn't sure how I was going to like it. Uh, one of the things in a Dexcom that I would see as a huge benefit is the alarms in terms of going low and even going high as well too. Uh, there is alarms within the Dexcom that can alert you and I see that as a huge benefit for uh, parents out there with children of type 1 diabetes. That really would help in managing your child's care but for myself the Libre is working so far, so I'm just going to hold off on testing out Dexcom. Uh, I may down the road, but uh, for now, Libre is making me very happy. And I have my next A1C in February, so I will see where I was at uh, with the change and the addition to the Libre and maybe reassess from there. So I thought I would just do a quick check-in um, before I head out to work, mostly because I absolutely love the lighting at this time of day right before I head to work. Um, the natural light coming into my apartment is incredible and uh, I think it's a good way to see my makeup. I have a new sweater on that I got from Dynamite. Uh, it's chenille. I love the texture and the feel of it. It feels awesome, but uh, I have to head out to work because, uh, uh, shock and awe, I'm actually running late. <laughs> um, but I am off to the office. Uh, busy Friday ahead of me. It's Friday though. <laughs> I'm super excited for the weekend. Uh, this these next uh, this past week was busy, and the next two weeks are definitely going to be crazy. It's just um, the way things go in our business. Uh, we follow calendar year, so it is quarter end and year end. So I have a number that I need to meet uh, to hit my goal.
Friday night and I am just getting ready to go out. It is just a little casual uh, dinner. So it's uh, nothing crazy. Just need to freshen up as it were. <laughs> And that is all she wrote. So I am headed out for the night, not bringing my camera with me. Uh, I will be signing off for tonight 